Hi, this is Hilary Lindsay with Active Yoga here to help you meditate. Meditation is the mysterious component of yoga that you cannot see. However, meditation is extremely important to yoga because meditation calms the nervous system. And if we can manage the nervous system, we can manage the body and mind. If we can manage the breath, we can manage the mind as well. It's very challenging to control your mind. You cannot do it. However, you can control your breath. And that is how you control the mind. I have a couple of props here to help me. I'm going to sit on the floor. I have a bolster, which I'm going to rest against this ottoman. However, I could do this on a wall. The bolster is going close up to the wall or ottoman. I'm sitting cross-legged on it. And I have a blanket here that I have folded so that I can wrap it in front of my shins and place it under my thighs so I don't have to hold my legs up. Now my hips are comfortable, my legs are comfortable, and my spine is in a good position, I think. I won't know for a couple of minutes though. I also have a sandbag standing by and I have a clock over here. I'm going to try to meditate for 20 minutes and I won't make you watch me. However, if I find that I can't manage my breath because I feel flighty, I'm going to put that sandbag on my lap. So I've set myself up in an easy position and I'm going to close my eyes from the top to the bottom so I don't pull the lower eyelid up and I don't have to show you how to close your eyes, but you'll close your eyes. Once your eyes are closed, you might find that you are not comfortable. As you sit for a moment or two, you will understand that you have to shift your position. So you go ahead and shift your position until you feel that you're absolutely comfortable. You might need to do something with your hands. I like to interlace my fingers in various ways. I enjoy this position lately. I bind my fingers like so with my palms up. And then I join my four fingers and thumbs together and rest my hands in my lap. This sensation of the hands being bound makes me feel comforted and gives me a weight to my shoulders that's pleasing. You might like something else. For any of you thumb suckers out there, I have found, as a previous thumb sucker, that holding one thumb with one hand and the other thumb with the other hand and placing it in your lap is the same pleasure and comfort as sucking your thumb was when you were a kid. So if you need that, by all means have it. If you feel more comfortable with your hands in any other position, go ahead and experiment. It's good to know. Okay, so once you've found a place for your hands, and I will take this one, rest your shoulders heavily, rest your pelvis into the bolster, close your eyes, and feel. Feel your breath coming and going, and notice, where are you agitated? Because you probably will be. What's on your mind? There's always something. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out, and notice if this is difficult. Sometimes sitting with your eyes shut, particularly when you don't feel like you have enough time, is upsetting. If you feel that, you might say to yourself, I'm not wasting time, I'm making time. By doing these meditations, you will find yourself to be more efficient and clearer, and that will give you more time. But if you can't manage your breath, and you have something heavy to place on your lap, it could be a cat. I have a sandbag here. Place the sandbag on your thighs. Take the dog hair off your pants. And rest your hands again. I've just chosen a different hand position. Allow your eyes to close from top to bottom and find your breath. If you can whisper your breath with a sigh and a gasp, the sigh being, the gasping, and do it with your mouth closed. It'll give you some sense of your breath. It's a feeling and a sound. And as you find that, you might imagine your breath the sound of the ocean or the sound of the wind. You breathe. You remain still. You relax. You let yourself grow heavy. And as your breath becomes managed and less agitated, and your mind being an extension of your breath, becomes less agitated, you're in the meditation. 
You keep a clock nearby so that you can check your time. It's fine to open your eyes when you're meditating. You'll see in your clock when it's time to stop. And if you need to stop to write something down on a piece of paper, by all means, go ahead and do that. I've gotten up from a meditation and walked into the office and come back. That seems to work just fine, too. So enjoy your meditation. Active Yoga here, signing out. But before I do, I'd like to show you that you can also meditate in a chair. It doesn't make you any less enlightened at all. This is one of my favorite places to meditate, this chair. I have a cushion behind me. The chair's not very high. I'm not going to be able to rest my head, and I don't have to, because this cushion is going to give me support. You sit well back into the cushion. Really get your hips back so that there's a curve to your lower back. And get your knees way back against the front edge of the chair. You'd like your hips ideally to be a little bit higher than your knees. Your legs should be able to relax fully. I'm giving you another hand position, another favorite. One palm on top of the other, with the tips of the thumbs touching, resting in your lap. You can play with it and see which hand on top feels better. It will feel really different. Proceed as before. Let your eyes gently close. Find the sound and the sensation of your breath. Relax. Take a sandbag if you need it and place it on your lap. And find the sensation of your breath. If you can, try to fall into the spaces between the breath in and out, between the breath out and in. In those pauses, the mind will rest. Linger in those pauses, and even as the breath comes and the breath goes again, attempt to hold that space of empty breath. Have a great time meditating. I hope it does you some good. Feel free to send me an email and let me know at activeyoga at comcast.net. Thanks for checking in.